Paula Reed joins us now. I mean, incredibly powerful, disturbing testimony. Should we cross-examine today? She will be. I mean, she went in that dressing room. But today, she will have a few more questions from her attorneys on direct examination. But then she will be cross-examined by Trump's a personal score because he called me a liar repeatedly. And it is really decimated. Off against this case. I mean, right before... You know, not only was it this dramatic scene of her getting on the stand, you know, her voice shaking, testifying about what she says happened, but right before Trump was railing against this whole case on social media and the judge got involved here. I mean, this isn't a surprise. Starting with Trump's attorneys uh, about him weighing in on this. Yeah, he threw out a her on a personal level, saying that she wasn't attractive enough for him to even consider. If her story is powerful and if she... No question about it. And look, and her testimony yesterday was tick life. This is a case that is almost three decades old. But um, in that cross-examination, things delicate is not generally one of them. <laughs> um, and and so, you know, I don't, I don't think, you know. Yeah. Um, so the judge smacking down Trump for the public opinion. Yeah. This is happening in real time in a real courtroom. And if you want to say that, take the stand. And Andrew, mm -hmm. to, to talk about it is the courtroom, not social media. Well, we have you here. Let's talk about the Hunter Biden meeting you were on yeah. two days ago reporting. What do, we, years, what, yes. what do we know about what happened in this meeting? what the point was. So we knew from last blower came forward in recent days uh, alleging that this whole investigation has been mishandled. And yesterday we spotted one of Hunter Biden's lawyers going into the Justice Department. We learned that the legal team met with at least one official from the tax division and one or two officials from the U.S. Attorney's Office. Now, of course, there's a Trump appointed U.S. attorney in Delaware who stayed on after the former president left to oversee this investigation. Now, our last report on the status of the charges was last summer. Our colleague Evan Perez reported that they had whittled down potential charges to a few tax crimes, one charge of possible false statements connected to the purchase of a gun. But nothing has happened for nearly a year. This is the first public event in this case. But at this point, it's ought to expect a final disposition of the case. But, you know, Hunter's lawyers really want to know what exactly is going on here. Are you going to charge him or not? Yeah, of course, they're dealing with that, as they're also dealing with House Republicans. And Paula Reed is back with us in terms of what we can expect today, right? Because they have to think hard about how they're going to cross-examine her, uh, especially in a case like this. Absolutely. Any defense attorney will tell you that cross-examining someone tried to undermine her story. First, they argue that she made it up and that she did so for political purposes. There's also this larger question of, well, why now? So it's interesting, yesterday we saw her attorneys try to get ahead of some of these questions, lay the foundation. For example, why now? Why did it take you so long? Well, she says that she was frightened, she was fearful of retaliation, and she was ashamed. She also insisted she's not doing this to settle political scores. She says that when she came out with these accusations, he attacked her reputation, and as a journalist, that's all she has. But it is going to be fascinating to see how they do this. And of course, we expect that this cross-examination will be done by the former president's lawyer, Joe Takapina. Now, I think even he would admit he is big, he is loud, he is brash. He's sort of a central casting for a very aggressive New York defense attorney. This is gonna be a real challenge for him. It'll be interesting to see how he approaches this. Yeah. Yeah. Right, this goes Paula Reed, thank you.